you know, when I wear the jackets, all of a sudden, I'm Wolverine, you know, and I, I, I love it for that. Look at that. I'm over here seducing myself. Yo, what's up, GQ? This is Masego, and these are my 10 essentials. First, we have Yankee Candle. I get it. There's probably like a, a soy candle I should be using or something environmentally amazing, but these smell great to me. I bring them everywhere on tour. Like, I don't have a lot of things that I get upset about, but if this is not near me, I need that. I don't know if you've noticed I have large nostrils. The internet has surely noticed. This helps uh, that struggle to breathe in so much. Pink Sands. I'm only getting Pink Sands. I literally have a stock supply at my house. It smells like, okay, you got the beach. Just pick any beach. And then there's a private beach that somebody bought that they really make a fuss if you step on their property. That's what it smells like. The untouched promised land. I had this layover in Moscow for like 13 hours in the airport. So I just go in the candle shop and I smell everything. And Pink Sands is the one. They got this in sprays, car fresheners, oils. I got all of it. It's in the kitchen, it's in the bathroom, bedroom, studio, guest room, foyer. I come home and the candle's lit. I don't know who did it, it's lit though. We have Philips Hue Light, based in Amsterdam. This is the mood setter. Who put me on to this? I think it was Roswell. Roswell is one of my most techie friends. I used to work at Best Buy too, and so did he. And he was like, yo man, these hue lights. And I was like, uh, this is stupid. Why would you want to have colored lights? Now that I have money, I understand. Like every single house, like light bulb in my home are these. Seriously, as a creative, I love certain colors because it keeps me in a mood. I feel like purples and pinks make me make a certain type of music. My Roommate loves red for some reason, so he's currently in therapy to figure out why. I have some friends that love blue, some love green, but and as a host a lot, I love for people to feel comfortable. So I'm, I'm like, you know, what color do you create with best? And I just set the house lights to that. I got it from my parents, I got it from my homies. I just, I think you need at least one you like. Well, no cards. Whenever I'm traveling, whenever like, People are bored whenever we're trying to like make time go by. I like this game. I love this game actually. We, we get to gamble with it in the band. We get to do truth or dare with it. And I love that it's just numbers and colors. Like I go anywhere in the world, people understand how to play Uno. Or I can teach them real quick. Keeps me in spirits high. And I still can't shuffle. I just think it's a nice game to figure out how do you take defeat? Like, you know, are you a sore loser? I like to see like how are you under pressure? I actually have Uno music that I have a playlist of, which it really sounds like your own survivor. I don't think I'm competitive, I just win a lot. Next we have Bose headphones. I really should have just called this my inhaler because if I don't listen to music before any human interaction, I am a jerk. So I feel like I love that this is like a, a form of meditation and therapy and health where I can just be in my own little world, play some of my playlist, and then I'm good. I think they're just made well. Like it has noise cancellation that's really good. I like the wireless ones just because the shorty talk to you. You know, I don't like to talk unless it's about like a topic that I enjoy. But the things people want to talk to me about is like, hey, so uh, being tall, like what's that like? So I like to avoid very um, small talk as they call it. This is the small talk avoider. Ah, I buy This is the shuffle. I don't like to be on my phone. I feel like all I really should use it for is listening to music. So I was like, all right, forget the phone. I'm more of a letters guy. It's cool because you have to put things on here. You can't just search it up. You can't be spoiled. You, you appreciate what you took the time to curate. And I'm really big on playlists that I receive from people and that I make myself. So I like to have a couple different moods in here. And then I go find that iPod when I'm in that mood. I'm not burning battery because I'm over here emailing and Instagramming. It's just literally for music only. I first got the one that 50 Cent had in his music video. He claims he is the one that made everybody think it's cool. I believed it enough to buy that one, so maybe he's right. Underappreciated item. Forget the phones. Get back to the iPods. Sponsor me, Apple. We have Calvin Klein All. People ask what I wear and I see the comments like you probably smell like shea butter and coconut and kindness I probably disappointed people with this I love this particular smell of Calvin Klein I really have to search to find this one for whatever reason and this was that same 13 hour layover in Moscow I smelled every single cologne the musk the 
dry, the this one's sweet, this is the one that I, I most enjoy. It's not real obnoxious, like you're sitting next to the man on the plane, and it's just like, we get it, you're Tom Ford. But this is like a really like, who is, what is that, that gumption? Like you, you don't even know who did it, but it's like, yo, you make good music. This is expensive and also it's hard to find. So I'm not gonna just wake up like, oh, all right, about to go eat some oatmeal, gotta smell like golden, but when it's time to show somebody who in the room, we put on that all. That's a commercial too, come on now. When I put this on and I'm around, uh, you know, people with noses, they appreciate the scent. And see, I put the cologne on and it's attracted someone to walk in the room. No, please. Come in or no? <laughs> it's the power of the cologne, I'm trying to tell y'all. For my next item we have, courtesy of my cousin in Jamaica, Melatonin Sleep Science Nutra Spray. I struggle with sleep like any other entertainer or whatever. I don't know, like this works. I don't even know what to tell you. Like at the end of the day, a couple sprays, I got my eight hours of sleep, I'm happy, my skin doesn't go crazy. So now I have a stock supply of these. This is like a under the tongue type of ting. Orange flavor. You really feel it like right under your eyes. It's just like, all right, hey. And it's not forcing you, it's not no z thing. No shade to z -Quil. it has some good years with them. But it's like no grogginess. It's a nice little flow and it's like, hey, 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 you want to dream? I'm like, I would love to dream. Thank you. I'll go dream now. Water. I drink a gallon a day. You should do it too. There was a guy named Sed. He walked into my studio with a canister similar to this, but smaller. Me being the modern day Emperor Cusco, I found a better version of it. And this is, this looks like me. It's a tall, black, solid individual. It's elegant. It's called Mana, and it has this uh, Pokemon-like symbol on it, like it's the water Pokemon, so it uh, makes me laugh a little bit. Keeps it cold for five days or your money back. I'm here to tell people, you're the reason why you're tired. There's your energy right there. Get you some. I'm here to, you know what I mean? I'm here to let them know they need some Mana. And don't it sound strong too? This is like what the Juggernaut would walk around with. And it's not compensating for anything. Like this is, all of me looks like this. You know, old me wouldn't have brought this on tour, but maybe the new me should. We have silk. I don't wear silk every day, but I have some aspect of it involved in my life. Whether it's the bed sheets, whether it's a silk bonnet, silk do-rag, a silk shirt. Silk is nice. Everyone thinks I wear it, so I'm like, all right. They keep giving me free silk things. It's just, it's a thing. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck with it. Clothes make me become certain characters. And as a Gemini, I need a way to filter through all these people within me. The silk shirt, it just, it really activates a, a very elegant version of myself. You know, you can't just wear silk without the rings, without the, the, the drip, as the kids say. It makes you become this, like, this guy. I think it's fun. When I was making my last album, uh, the Lady Lady album, it kind of felt like silk. And it's kind of like a natural graduation from Hawaiian shirts. Cause I used to be at the thrift stores buying up all the Hawaiian shirts for a quarter. And then, you know, when I got a little more mana, I uh, bought some silk shirts and it just kind of went from there, you know? Cause I, I, I always loved the, the patterns and all the things that came with Hawaiian shirts, but then it got a little too vacation, a little too even Stevens movie. So we had to upgrade it. And then here I am today. Well, for my final item, I have currency with my face on it. I like to call it trap house cash. It started when I was traveling and I got in love with the way that everyone's currency looks versus American currency. I have a friend named Nancy and um, she designed all the currencies in the world but with my face on it. But like in a very tasteful, creative way, because like this looks like a Euro. Even with the US currency, I think this is nice too. And then the cool thing about it is I ran it down at the end of my shows and it doubles as a business card. So it has my socials right here. And it also says uh, in yams we trust because um, I like yams. I feel like they're underappreciated. So like we would just rain it down stripper style. People would end up calling me emailing me and we did a bunch of gigs because of it. So it was cool. Over the years, you know, people have jocked. You know, I'm not gonna call any names out, you know, 50 Cent, you know what I'm saying, Snoop Dogg. But it's cool, you know, I'm here to inspire. I have gotten in trouble in multiple countries because other people tried to pay with my money and they blame me like I caused it. I don't make dishonest people, they make themselves. Yo, GQ, thanks for spending time with me. This is Masego and these are my 10 essentials.